Goodbye. All right. <laughs> Michael Woodson live on YouTube. Here we go. Uh, as you see right now, you got a bald man uh, in a monkey suit. What's happening? Uh, <laughs> the title of this is Might Change My Career. What does that mean to you? What? What do you think that means? <laughs> Might that change changing, my career. That you're thinking of changing your career. From what to what? From a barber to a phone answerer. That's right. Uh, barbering was something I didn't really feel that was my like calling, my forte. Hey, look, a squirrel. Oh, it's the squirrel that walk. You gotta knock that tree down. Hey, get out of here. I'm gonna get attacked by a squirrel, folks. What are you doing? Stay away from my tree. <laughs> The squirrels attack everything, didn't I? Oh man, I, I haven't been that close to a squirrel like ever. I told you that they try to play. <laughs> they don't like us. As you see, Christmas time is coming, folks. We are in the month of November. Uh, and this is supposed to be a serious, like, motivational, like, thing about. I'm tired. I am too. It's supposed to be a serious motivational thing about what's going on in my life. Sorry. And I feel right, like right now I'm making a really big decision. Not just for me, but for my family. Because as you know, I got, I got this little one right there named Summer. Say hi. <laughs> so we got summer and then we got one on the way that's a big announcement as well which i want to do like a really big like deal out of it eventually when we find out the gender and everything we're like what 14 weeks in yeah we're 14 weeks into it 15, 15 weeks in we'll find out in january the uh the sex of the Baby, and I'm so excited, and uh, <laughs> just so like it's nerve wracking. Um, <clears throat> where do I go from here? Um, this place I'm gonna go interview at today is a call center, and it's in Canton. <clears throat> we are uh, we, as you may notice, scenery is kind of different because we just moved to uh, West Akron. Uh, back in October, so um, things are a little bit different now. We're um, we're building our future together. We're building our our family up. We're building uh, our livelihood, and it kind of at this moment is more than just um, me going for a job interview. It's me going for something that could change my family's life and uh, well-being. So I'm super excited. I'm super anxious. I'm super, super anxious. And I don't know what I'm going to do about really anything at the moment. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best call uh, as a family, what's the best call as um, making sure we are <laughs> getting our bills paid and have a roof over our head because that, that's what matters the most is having the roof over our head and Especially for a little one. Bless you. Thank you. You nasty. I love you. Sorry. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't treat her like that, just so you know. I don't, I'm not mean. Am I mean? No. I didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> um, so, moving from a barber career to a call center, call representative is what they call it. Um... I think it's more along the lines of 
we need the money so we can pay for where we're living and we can pay for all the things we need for uh, our family, such as food. Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so we pay for food for a house and just everything that goes into having a place to live, you know. So um, it's stressful because I, at the at the moment, I feel as if I've made like probably the biggest um, decision of my life. I don't know if I feel like I've did it a good decision I don't know if I did a bad decision but from what I know is like things are gonna get good for us financially like that's what matters right that's what matters right yeah I think I got a sinus infection sorry that's what matters the most <laughs> Um, we uh, we definitely are struggling with finances, and we're definitely in need of help. And um, being a newly married, you know, we're still we're still classified as newlyweds because we got married back in July. So, <laughs> um, we're still trying to get through, you know, our jobs starting up. And as a barber, it takes forever for your job to kind of become you know big and something you can live off of so I'm really trying hard to get where we need to be get where we know we need to be and like totally just be who we are meant to be so um I feel as if barbering was not for me um I do like cutting hair but I do not like doing it every day um it was never meant for me to be a barber forever. Um, I think I got a little bit of a lesson of letting people tell me what they think I need in life and what I want in my own life, and it's not at all what I want. I did not want to be a barber. I did not want to pursue being in people's hair all the time. That's why I don't have any hair anymore, because I got tired of hair, and also I had a mental breakdown. But depression bipolar and anxiety has done so many things to me and it i've opened my eyes to a few things lately too i got a huge announcement about uh something that i have in the works and i'm not going to talk about it right here because it's not set in stone it's not promised but she knows Now you probably know because you heard me whisper it. But um, things are in the works. I can't wait to get involved with it. Can't wait to get it started. And I'm super pumped, super excited. Uh, with all that being said, I'm going to hop off here. I just wanted to fill you all in. A word of advice to anyone who might be needing it. Um, never let anyone tell you what you want in life. <laughs> never tell anyone what you want and never let anyone tell you what you want in life because only you know what you want to do with your life only you can make it happen um if you have faith in what you want to do you better put the works behind it because it's not going to just be handed to you law of attraction is, is a nice thing to think of I think it's a lot more than just thinking it and hoping that it'll happen and just speaking it into existence. You also need to work for what you want. You also got to go out there and do what you want. You got to pretty much the whole thing of dress to impress. You got to act the way you want to be. You know, like if you want a desk job, you need to act like you want a desk job. If you want a cubicle, you got to act like you want a cubicle. You got to do these things to get where you want to be in life if you want to sit there and flip burgers at mcdonald's 
for the rest of your life, then that's what you want to do for the rest of your life. Keep acting the way you act. And if you want to be a successful, I'm not saying people are not successful at McDonald's, but if you want to be successful and make good money, have a family, raise your kids up right, get them you know, financially stable through school, get them where they need to be, that's sweet. Do it. Because just saying you want it compared to just you know doing it, when you do it, things go right. When you just say it, it'll never happen. You'll feel like you've never succeeded. So stand up and make yourself get out there and just go for it. One thing I haven't done in a long time, you, I don't think you've ever seen me do it other than on a video. Uh, I gotta stand up and do it. Okay. In this monkey soup, I declare good morning to the best family on YouTube. Rah! <laughs> I just wanted to do it. I haven't done that in a long time. It feels good. Michael Woodson Vlogs is going to be back momentarily. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I don't know how to end this video, so I'm just gonna click the X, I guess? Love you guys.